Hey guys, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Tulsi and I am up with a new video. There's a lot happening in life and I took a trip to Andaman and Nicobar and today I will be journaling the trip in my travel journal and also I'll be sharing with you all the entire itinerary of the trip that we had. So if you plan to go to the place, it will be helpful for you and maybe it might serve you as a guide to plan your trip. So basically the video is a mixture of my travel journaling process and the entire blog about the trip. So I hope you like it. Let's begin. So this is my journal. It was gifted to me by a very close friend. So yes, I am going to fill it. Let's begin. So to begin with the first page, I am creating a earth doodle and something very fancy to start with the journal. So the first page looks more attractive. So this is the artwork for it. I am using a simple ballpoint pen for uh, this process i did a, a trial with a pencil and then i'm using the ballpoint pen so you don't need any fancy pens for the same a basic phrase over here which says our travel journal and i am using brush pens so brush pens are very easily available in the market and if you want to buy it i'll leave the link for it in the description box below the next page i am starting the next page and it says say yes to the new adventures and i have a very broad page so i am trying to fill it with quotes and doodles and different kind of artworks which will be all seen further and here i am making some artwork with a car all set to travel Okay, so the next page, the plan for this page is I am going to stick all the photos of the places I have travelled to on this page, small photos. So I have an entire memory page of the places I have visited. So yes, that's some of the idea for your travel journal page. And my first photo entry is of Andaman and Nicobar which is the next half of the journal and the video so the location we visited is andaman and nicobar the most beautiful islands of india and today in the next half i am going to cover everything that we did in andaman and an itinerary to help you for the same we travelled from Nashik to Mumbai to Port Blair via flights. So we visited Andaman and Nicobar in the month of March. We took a flight from Mumbai around 6 in the morning and we reached Port Blair uh, around 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And by the time we reached we were held tired and so we just checked into our rooms and had some rest so we booked a resort called coral cove beach resort which is very beautiful great ambience and the food is amazing over here so in the evening we decided to visit the cellular jail which is the most historic spot in andaman and there is a light show organized in the evening time which explains the history of cellular jail so here goes the entry into my journal about the same next day was more exciting because we had to visit ross island so to visit ross island you have to take a boat from marina bay park we booked an auto from our resort to the marina bay parks and took a boat and the view is mesmerizing as you can see 
सो द बोट टेक्स यू टू द रॉस आइलैंड इन हाफ एन आवर एंड यू गेट एन आवर टू स्पेंड ऑन रॉस आइलैंड सो यू कैन सी दिस ब्यूटिफुल पी कॉक्स एंड डियर्स ओवर यर यू कैन सी हंड्रेड ऑफ डियर्स ओवर यर रोमिंग फ्रीली एंड यू कैन बी वेरी क्लोज टू दैम द एंटायर आइलैंड एक्सपीरियंस वॉज वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड यर हैव डम्प इन ऑल द फोटोज इन माई जर्नल द नेक्स्ट डे वी हैड टू विजिट हैवलॉक आइलैंड सो वी वो गोइंग टू स्टे देर फॉर टू डेज सो आईलैंड हॉपिंग यर इन एंडमान इज वाया क्रूज सो वी हैड बुक म क्रूज क्रूज एज सुन एज वी एंटर द आईलैंड द फर्स्ट थिंग वी डिड वॉज रेंटेड अ बाइक द रेंट पर डे कैन वेरी फ्रॉम फाइव हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड रुपीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सीजन यू विजिट लेटर ऑन वी चेक इन इन टू आर रूम्स द रिसोर्ट नेम इज हेवीज रिसोर्ट एंड इट इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वी हैड अ अटैच स्विमिंग पूल इन द रूम इट सेल्फ एज वेल एज अ कॉमन स्विमिंग पूल आउट साइड सो द रूम वॉज ऑसम वी हैड टू स्टे यर फॉर टू डेज we had a lunch and then we had a plan to visit radhanagar beach it is known to be the cleanest beach in india and you can hop in in water and enjoy water also it is a sunset point so evening times are the best to visit this beach so we had a bike ride of around half an hour to reach the beach and we also had our maps ready but there are very less chances of you getting lost in the havelock island because it is very small we enjoyed the sunset on the beach which was around 5:30 pm and then while returning we had our lunch come dinner and then return back to the hotel the the next day we decided to go to the elephant island so there is two ways you can reach elephant island either via speed boats or through trekking so we decided to trek to the island it is around 45 minutes trek from the trek point and we were glad we decided to trek because we had so much beautiful nature around us we saw the mangroves you have have these tall trees all around you and the view all over is quite beautiful and a bit different from the entire water view which you see in the island all over and over again Elephant Island is known for water sports activities so if you plan to do any kind of water sports in Andaman so Elephant Island is recommended and you will have a lot of fun over here oh i forgot to mention there are many guides at the start of the trek which help the tourists to reach elephant islands but my recommendation will be do not hire any guide because there are many companions for you on the way and you can reach the elephant island very easily because of the routes so here we are and look the entire island is filled with water sports activities there is also locker facility to keep all your belongings and also changing rooms so that you can change after you're done with the water sports one of the best activities we did was snorkeling so it is very much similar to scuba diving yet too much different from scuba in scuba you deep dive into the ocean but in snorkeling you are on the surface of the water but still can have an experience of the underwater life and you can see these beautiful corals and fishes and it was one of the calmest and soothest experience we had in andaman all of the day four memories from trekking to snorkeling to all the water sports activities is taken a note in my journal once we returned we had our dinner at a restaurant called anju goko restaurant it is best for vegetarian food in havelock island so much recommended place in havelock the next day we decided to see the sunrise and yes sunrise here is at 5:30 am in the morning so we had to set an alarm at 5:15 and we just reached on time to see the sunrise and trust me it was the most beautiful sunrise we've ever seen and we will never regret our decision of waking up early in the morning and the ride was beautiful too so we saw the sunrise at a beach which was quite isolated and it was on the way to kalapathar beach and we had our own bike so we just stopped our bikes where there was no one 
After watching the sunrise, we came back to our rooms and checked out and we had to visit the next island that is the Neil Island and this time we had chosen Green Ocean Cruise for the same. So between the two options that is the Macruz and Green Ocean Cruise, it is always recommended go for Green Ocean as it has an open deck you can enjoy dance snacks and an open view of the ocean and also the price tickets are low compared to my cruise so after arriving at neil island we took a auto to pearl park beach resort and this resort is very beautiful just located besides a beach called lakshman pur beach number one so the rooms were beautiful and the beach was just at walking distance. After some rest, we decided to walk to the beach and you have a way from behind the resort to reach the beach. So that is what we did. So we had one day in Neil Island. Neil Island is even more smaller than Havelock Island and it has two or three beautiful beaches. But the problem was we could not rent a bike over here because all the bikes were rented till the time we arrived. So we decided to spend our entire evening on this one beach which was the Sunset Beach and called the Lakshmanpur Beach number one. Anyways, we were tired from hopping one island to another and we just wanted to relax. So sitting on a beach in sand, watching at the sunset was the perfect plan we could have. And here goes the entry of day 5 in my journal with loads of pictures in it. Day 6 of the trip, we took a green ocean cruise back to Port Blair and we had one day to spend at Port Blair itself. When we visited Andaman, the airport over there was under construction so you get flights only on Friday, Saturday and Sunday so you have to plan a 6 day trip. So here we booked an resort called Peerless Resort which is just besides the beach with an amazing campus inside and amazing greenery. We did not book the resort earlier as we did for other resort but when we visited Corbin Cove Beach when we were in Port Blair earlier we saw this resort and the location we found was amazing so we did it on spot. And that is the view from our room. Even here in Port Blair, we had rented a bike so that we can visit the place we want. So we took a bike ride to Chidia Tapu Beach, which is one hour distance from our resort. And trust me, the journey on bike was more beautiful than the destination. It is much much recommended that you visit this place on bikes. Also be careful because the roads here are very narrow and don't be too late as the sunsets here are around 5.30. And there are hardly any lights, street lights on the road. So yes, it is better you visit the place or you go to the place before the sunset. So there were two places or beaches we had to visit. The one is the Chidya Tapu beach and other is the Munda Pahad beach. Both the destinations were okay okay as compared to the other beaches that we have seen in Andaman but we enjoyed the ride a lot and we would visit the destination again only for the ride. And that's it, our 6 days long trip had come to an end. Next day we had our flight in afternoon. So after checking out from the resort, on the way to the airport we just visited the Andaman Museum. And yes, we were done with the trip. And here is a quick flip through of my journal. If you wish to watch 
more art videos, go and click over here. If you wish to watch festival special videos, go and click over here. And to subscribe to my channel, go and click over here.